Yeah, you could be daddy all day. Be daddy all day. But you need to take chains off of yourself to be a happier man, to be a happier person. Like, hmm. what are some of these chains? Yeah, you need to you need to definitely break some of those chains. Like, okay, so for me, like with the women, like the way men view women, mm -hmm. definitely that needs to change a lot because we're supposed to like be your partners in crime. Sure, you're supposed to protect us more. You're way yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole mission of men, you know, from the African religions, you know, definition is um, we're supposed to be equal, but you, of course, are supposed to take care of the village, your wife and the kids and the animals, like, obviously, but I am literally half of your brain. Like, so, for example, for example, I am in a beautiful relationship right now. Mm -hmm. And um, he accepts me dancing, even though where, where I dance at is very protected. It's not like I'm, I'm going like to oceans or fucking other places where it's not like that protected. So I'm happy where I am. Mm -hmm. But he realizes as a and I'm teaching this baby. He's such a, I'm teaching this baby. Keep in a watch this. <laughs> like, I love you, baby. I love you. I love you, baby. I'm also teaching him, and, and I feel like other women should definitely teach this too to their men that, like, he realizes that me uh, working and being able to be in a place that respects me and working also, like, this is like a, this is like a partnership. Like, he works and I work. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, he works and I work and he's seeing that it's making me a happier person. It's making me a better person. And I'm able to like take care of the both of us. He's able to take care of me like it's a partnership and it's healthy and it's very equal. I feel like um, sure, like I understand relationship boundaries and setting rules and don't do this and blah, blah, blah. But like if you get that toxic trait of women off of your relationships, off of the way you view women, it's mm -mm. BDSM, uh, you're not supposed to like, I understand dominating, but truly dominating somebody like that's that Western society shit of wanting to have a slave. I see it a lot in like sexist men. Like they don't want a partner. They want somebody to own. And it also really fucks them up too, because like you trying to take control of somebody, you're not taking control of yourself at all for example really abusive relationships where the dude controls um everything that the girl does you're putting all of your time into creating a slave and you're losing yourself you don't even know who you are your identity becomes controlling her like so when men get to the point where they realize it's a partnership and start falling in love with themselves more and then realizing that if they want to get in a relationship, they can find somebody like a half of them. So y'all can both love each other and yourselves more. That's the whole point of an actual relationship. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. so I love that you mentioned that. And this, this is a good topic that we are on. And I 100% agree. Like a lot of these outdated, you know, standards oh, that men and women started. should follow. I definitely believe there is masculine and feminine energy. I do believe in that. And I do believe that, you know, there are certain balances, you know, that um, I, I definitely believe that there are certain dynamics mm -hmm. that are conditions for an ideal relationship. Like, I, I do genu genuinely believe that if a man is more, you know, in his whatever that may be, mm -hmm. if, if, you're, if you're with a very feminine women, woman, then I feel like a more masculine men, they'll, they'll draw each other together. So mm -hmm. I do believe in that um, polarity. Yeah, I definitely believe in that. You know, I I do, I do believe that if two, if both of the partners, and it does have nothing to do with gender, but it's like if both of the partners are really masculine, I don't think it's gonna work out. And yeah. if both of the partners are really feminine, it's not gonna work Unless out. Unless that works. You need, <laughs> or if it does, and if it, it right, does, or it might, right? It's but fine. I do I do feel like someone kind of yeah. needs to be the more initiator and the leader, and someone has to be more open to following. Mm -hmm. I, I stand in. Yeah, that. I and I, I even though I'm super feminist, I'm very much dummy in my mind like i love mm -hmm. having a super equal relationship but i understand it because when you do have feminine and masculine and it, and it draws to each other number one the, the whole purpose is that the woman nurtures whatever is mm -hmm. hard in you and you strengthen whatever is soft in her like that's how it's supposed to healthily mm -hmm. be i understand yeah. that Thank you. let me finish up real quick so like this is exactly what you're saying segue mm -hmm. into that a lot of men feel that way too a lot of men feel that that dynamic especially with today's society, is being diminished. 
women are almost being told, like you said, I 100% agree, you know, be independent. Go through that phase of go-getting. Get Mm -hmm. outside of your shell. Mm -hmm. But a lot of men are finding difficulty finding long-term partners because a lot of the women, by the time they get in their career, get on their, oh, I I don't need a man, they're they're so much in their masculine that a, a masculine guy... He's like, I'd rather just date another nigga then. Yeah. So, so and it's like, and like, I'm just being real. And, and a I'm lot just being of people real. So like, like, as a woman, I'd be uh-huh. interested to see your perspective on that too. Yeah. Like, what, how can, how, like, what, how are men supposed to approach that kind of, the status quo of like, mm-hmm. kind of society is pushing women to be more masculine. Uh, those, those podcasts with those dudes where they're just like, uh, they're too masculine. They're <laughs> acting like they don't need men. They're, yeah, I don't, I don't fuck number with those. Number one. Com- yeah, because they just generalize everybody. Number one, yeah. don't blame, this goes all the way to slavery and today and how they treated us like literally 60 years ago mm. and like, do not blame us for that. A lot of girl, a lot of women are going through that. Yeah. A lot, because a lot of women have been through, I feel like the more masculine women that are definitely go getter. I don't need a man. I'm not dating a man. I'm being sub- a celibate. Um, treatment like shit kind of really Have they've been that. through That's a important. lot they've been through a lot um i would say don't blame women so hard for that because mm-hmm. number one the role of a black woman has been fucked mm-hmm. for so long so you know being a single black woman in, in a single black woman's case like yeah what else was she supposed to do and she actually just becomes numb to the fact that she like a man's gonna actually help her or a man's gonna actually benefit her or make her a ben- better person because she's been forced to um take care of herself and do everything by herself and be treated horrible by other people and just try to figure it out by herself and now she finally got it like it's finally kind of like how me being ingrained with motherism Mm. i am permanently that way that's the same for like uh women that are now like you know what I'm going to be on my own and do everything on my own. Fuck men. I'm going to treat them like shit. It's permanently in them because it's been for, it's, it's been happening for so long. Um, I would say definitely don't blame those kinds of women. I feel mm. like it is, uh, I, I think it's bad and good. I'll get on the good part first. Mm. I think it is a positive thing, uh, for this kind of generation for right now, for women to be like, yo, yeah, fuck men. Great. But so you can teach your daughters, you know what independent means and what it should feel like and great but it's also really bad because the reality is as much as girls just we are so annoyed y'all we love y'all and we need we need each other a lot like it's the yin yang honestly and western white people western society (laughs) is really just they've been trying their best to just separate it because they don't want the what what is it called the nuclear black family the nuclear. yeah they don't want that at all and that's another reason why that's that's going on like mm-hmm. don't blame us for that is it moving no, you're straight. Stay where you at. don't don't blame us for that but um i do feel like that it will change that will die down mm-hmm. again like i feel like including i'm so proud of us black people even though we still need so much. We got, got a long way to go, but we, we making moves though. The moves yeah. that we have been making, I feel like in the next generation, like we're gonna start becoming more equal and united because we need to start thinking about the future. We definitely are, but right now, don't blame us. Don't don't blame us. Don't blame us. Like I, a lot of women still understand that like um, the balance is very important. Like we love and need y'all, and y'all love y'all love and need us a lot, and, and it also ties into how. Um, well, that's been happening for so long in the rap industry. They're just like, fuck women. Now it's like, okay, yeah, you can't blame us because now it's like, fuck men and we're trying to make our own businesses exactly. and, yeah. you know, raise our own families and mm-hmm. make our own money moves. Sure, but... um. But it's like, who wins though? Because mm-hmm. like you raise your own family, you know, and then yeah. so-and-so grows up without a father figure. Yeah. Or a daughter and grows then, up, you, you know, know what I'm saying? There's just lack of love understanding because that's what big brother it's gonna, yeah you it's gonna like... change so we're gonna come back together we are trying to come back together mm-hmm. um uh and, and th- there's something else i want to say about that too because oh my god this shit is huge, so annoying it's a huge topic yeah it's huge um mm, mm. i feel like for those women mm-hmm. that are doing that you need to understand that like for example for a dude that approaches um, a woman that's like, sorry, I don't need a man. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I don't want your time or anything like that. 
there's something different going on there. Mm. Like men's testosterone is so high up their ass. Like for example, that one video of those group of girls sitting and eating and this dude Mm. comes up trying to hit on them and they're like, no, we're good. Thank you. And he literally tries to shoot them. Like literally runs them down because he got rejected. Like those moments you have to Mm. understand, like there's something else going on there. Maybe Mm. you shouldn't be approaching Like if you see a super independent woman, don't approach her like you're trying to fuck her you're trying to have a relationship if she's already evolved over the point of um like if she's already evolved over the point of okay yeah i see he's about to come hit on me i'm I'm gonna talk to him back Mm. you have to realize that you need to start you have to approach her as a friend as a Mm. ally as a partner because that's what i feel like super macho women are on a business mindset because they always have the business of taking care of themselves they're taking care of their si- uh, mm. their kids taking care of the rent you need to approach them as a partner first mm. if you can prove to a macho ass woman that you could be there as a partner as a friend as a support system help her encourage her uh help her break down the hardness that she has yeah she's throwing you the coochie mm. it's not like there's no coochie to be thrown you're you're approaching it traditionally and wrong 